Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, POS keyboard or cash register uh, keyboard for the kind of supermarket uh, cashier or something like that but I'm using the keyboard to as a multi-function keypad rather than buying of course the expensive uh, you know graphical LCD driven kind of uh, multi-function button or uh, going toward a fully uh, kind of customized uh, cockpit or even the MacDo or CDU which is actually almost like uh, three times uh, I think ten times expensive uh, and cannot be con uh, configured or kind of becoming a multi-function keypad so this cash register actually is a programmable POS keyboard uh, so basically it's a this one is there are several types so this one is a 76 keypad in total and actually times five or six actually if you consider this key you can select uh, several mode uh, using this key so this is the first mode second mode third mode fourth mode like in the cash register you have a supervisor or the cashier one that uh, change the configuration of this key so so you can have actually 76 time almost like six uh, type of keyboard which produce several configuration however this keyboard can only be programmable uh, uh, for uh, to simulate a keyboard uh, this keypad is actually to simulate the keyboard so it cannot produce uh, specific controllers or even a um, specific script or even like uh, simulating a joystick uh, kind of controllers. So it cannot be uh, configured that way. So basically I'm going to show you on how to setting up this keyboard uh, keypad to be a multifunction keyboard basically. But it's quite advanced. Uh, so you can like this key, for example, any key every key including this numeric key can be programmed for let's say control shift r um, or control shift or, or control alt shift r or control alt s for example whatever combination of the functions and um, the keypad itself can be programmable into one button only so it's like a macro keyboard but it's actually hardware driven so it's if you press this one it could be a control alt del or whatever okay so however it's it is it is bound into a keyboard uh, kind of uh, outputs okay uh, so let me show you the basically the where you get it here i open up the aliexpress for example uh, here you can find the in aliexpress uh, you can search for like uh, POS keyboard POS keyboard here or something like uh, yeah basically you can type POS keyboard programmable POS keyboard so basically it will show up several uh, type of it uh, this is a different configurations uh, this is a smaller one this is a smaller one even uh, but without the numeric keypad uh, and the rest is probably similar so it, it has several so you can uh, put a label under this uh, transparent plastic cap so there is a plastic cap and they provide a, a clipper to pull out this plastic cap and you can print out there's a, actually they also provide the Excel sheet with the template uh, with a very accurate size to cut and print uh, pin, print and cut the label into this size so you can name it everything color it make it color uh, print in color or whatever so it's very uh, very functional uh, and I, I don't get the white one but I got the black one so yeah so in my case uh, late uh, I've switched the one into here one two three four five six seven eight nine rather than seven on the top so and I swap this dot over here and uh, zero over here and double zero is over here to simulate the A320 uh, Airbus uh, 
MCDU keypad. So basically that's how they configured. And I'll show you uh, what is the configuration on my uh, key keyboard basically later on. Okay. So this is basically the specifications. It's a basic keyboard, so it's actually using a USB and also there's a PS2 connectors, but I don't think PS2 connectors will be useful for our, our, our purposes, okay? So anyway, this is a company in China. Anyway, so you can get this uh, products and it's actually very handy. Uh, this type of uh, arrangement of the keyboard is actually much more uh, useful compared to using a uh, unused keyboard. You you definitely can use uh, unused keyboard, but those keyboard cannot be programmed. So you can you have to buy another program called uh, multi keyboard macro uh, like this one for example. I got this uh, software multi keyboard macros. Uh, I paid for this one and for this one you can use any 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 keyboard so you can set up as a keyboard that is undetectable uh, this one is for your main keyboard you can register it and this one is the second keyboard that will not be used by uh, you commonly so this you can separate the two keyboard this one is for macro this one is for uh, main keyboard so this multi keyboard macros apps actually also quite useful if you want to use uh, ordinary keyboard as your uh, button box okay so once you get it then you can press uh, add shortcut you can press some key and then assign add macro add script whatever this is more powerful than the one that I'm going to show but this one is using uh, ordinary keyboard so yeah it's a bit different okay so I'm not I'm going to talk about this later on but I'm going to focus on this one so once you purchase it so basically you will get this software okay this is the software that you get uh, with the keyboard uh, it has the same layout with the keypad that or the keyboard that you purchased uh, before this one so it's actually having a numeric key over here uh, and then this is a 30, uh, 30 key here on the right and 30 key on the left and another 4 uh, here that you can assign anything to this 4. Uh, this one you can assign to anything also but it's already colored as a keypad over here. Okay, so before I'm going to into details, I'm going to show you my key arrangement first. Okay, so here we are. Uh, if you it take a little more clearly, this is a numeric keypad. So I switched the number one and two to top and seven, eight, nine to down and swap the, basically the dot from here to here and swap also the num, uh, double zero into the right and zero to the middle. So this is replicating the MCDU or CDU keypad in the aircraft, okay? like. A320 or even 77, uh, 787 for example. So this the dot is still okay, zero is still okay. This double zero actually plus uh, minus uh, key uh, in MCDU of A320, okay? And this one I program as left, up, right, and down. So I will program it not as the cursor key in the keyboard, but it will be when I push this key, it will output a control alt left and this one is control alt up control alt right control alt down okay why i i put as control alt uh, left and right up and right uh, basically because i don't i don't want when i press this one it will translate into the right keypad in the ordinary keyboard because this is actually acting as a keyboard also I'm not isolating this keyboard like the one if I use the macro multi keyboard macro file I can separate this into a different keyboard but because I want to use auto hotkey I'll show you later on on the program in auto hotkey uh, I cannot use that multi keyboard macro okay if I use that one then it's kind of more software in between and create uh, a bit of uh, lag 
or laggy responses on the keypad. This is very fast and just like a normal keyboard uh, keypad. Okay. On the right, 30, uh, 30 button on the right is exactly actually the number of the keypad in the MCDU. I was quite surprised. So basically, it's alphanumeric, A, B, uh, alpha, alphanumeric numbers. So A, B, C, D, E until Z. And then this is divisions and then space, overfly, and clear. This is exactly the number of keypad in the A320 MCDU. Okay. And uh, this one is, of course, here. You can, probably you can't see it uh, clearly. Uh, here, MCDU, data, init. F, F plan or flight plan, secondary flight plan, RAT nav. This is in it on red because I already programmed this key later on in Sputnik. Actually, it's, uh, uh, I think I pressed some key, unused key or number. Actually, I want, this is uh, like control alt one, control alt two, control alt three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one is already moving like a bracket left, bracket right, uh, sorry, uh, uh, slash uh, left slash and then bracket right so this one is actually uh, a num uh, control alt uh, number on the keyboard okay so i'll show you what i'm programming this this one is control alt numeric pad one control alt numeric two control alt numeric three and so on this one is control alt f1 f2 f2 uh, f3 and then until f12 so this one is control alt function key uh, this one is for selecting the left uh, button on the mcdu and this one the right button on mcdu so this is the keypad layout now i'm going to show you the program uh, inside the uh, keyboard software okay Okay, so this is the software. The it's called KB76 on UniP Pro. I don't know what it means, but I think 76 keypad and programmable. So it's connected to USB and online. So what what you can do uh, once you connect it and start this program, and also detect the position of the key. If I'm mistaken, I can change it. Oh no. Basically, this is the layer, uh, sixth layer of the key. So basically, it's uh, oh this one indicating the program. So it's uh, it's programming the sixth layer or the key when it point up. And if you program the key pointing down, which is the first position of the key, uh, you can program it here. So you have six slot of programmable 76 keypad. So 76 times six number of key if you want to combinations but it's always a keyboard key so it doesn't mean 76 individual uh, controller number for example okay so what you can do is you first don't read it first if it's empty you don't need to read it but since i already program it i can try to read it if you try to read an empty one it's kind of like stuck in uh, in the process don't do that if you purchase it once uh, you just directly program it basically it's still empty don't care about it but if because you already have programmed it i can try to read it and they will try to get it the setting or the program that i've already sent into the keyboard okay so it's successful now every key here you can see there is a layer one l shift plus l control plus alt plus F1. So this one is shift control alt F1. So basically uh, this one is, oh, sorry. So I use this one shift. I think this one is also shift. Yes. I, I created control alt shift for every key except for numeric uh, numpad because numpad, if you use shift, it's kind of going haywire. <laughs> um, I don't know, but basically it's not going to be a real numpad one again so it's kind of like shift to home uh, insert whatever so i try not to use shift in the numpad and this button i think left right the the cursors uh, button i'm not using shift except for this uh alphanumeric uh, alphabet key and this special function key i'm using the left control oh uh, sorry control alt shift 
it's a left because they can detect actually so let's uh, let's see if I open this one basically it will list down the key setting so L shift L control uh, uh, left alt and F1 you can I think you can differentiate between left and right control basically and then your program later on can detect it it, it is left shift left control left alt or right shift right, right control uh, right alt for example and there's also win key and other function that you can doing in combinations you can also put a delay for key almost uh, 0 0.5 second and you can add another key user key list but i'm not using it right now so it's very simple setup here just to send if i press some button uh, it will send this basically this key okay so that's how you get it let's do a clean programming so let's do a layer two uh, so basically we can do a layer two programming so let's say we want to program this in the layer two so second position of the key for something else so what you can do is basically simple so you select the key that you're gonna program there's a 76 here 30 30 and numeric so it's basically similar setup so let's say the top left here this one you want to send let's say uh, what control alt one so basically something like that so left control left alt one so you can click this here because you cannot press the key of course because that will confuse them so you can do that so this one can be clear uh, selected clear selected clear selected if you clear all it will clear all the key arrangement on the all layer so don't do that okay so we program in second layer so if you delete all it will delete the key on all layers so that will be catastrophic once you program the the other layer so control alt um, let's say one and then you confirm so basically it's already program uh, left control out one here on layer two you can see on the bottom part of the screen there is layer one left shift left control left alt f1 but on the second layer it program as left control left alt plus one okay so it can be six layer let's say programming third layer you can also hear programming a different key for example i want to program shift alt c for example so basically uh, it will show three layer the first layer being shift control alt f1 second layer is control alt 1 and the third layer is shift alt c once you program every key here you can then write into the keyboard uh, controller so basically you just hit this one it will send the setting once you do the setting for your key and it will send the setting into the keyboard so basically now already programmed to the keyboard and you can also save here the file let's say user once for your uh, it will be a dat files extension and then save it somewhere so if you require it, you just open it and then trying to write it back into the keyboard if you somehow the keyboard lost the memory or some, some something wrong with it okay so basically you don't have to even touch the keyboard to program it so you can just program and then send to write now how to check this uh, program has been included so i'm using this software here but you can uh, do uh, online i think there's an online keyboard monitoring software so they can detect what is being pressed here from the keyboard so let's say i'm using the first one so I'm on the first position of the key and then press l1 here the top most left and it will show control alt shift f1 uh, f1 sorry and actually screenshot has been saved to gallery that is actually a shortcut for the nvidia um, kind of um, yeah 
on screen um, or gamers uh, like Nvidia. What do you call it? Uh, Nvidia Shield. So they, you you can actually capture a photo, uh, image, uh, uh, say video, and this one is one of the uh, screen capture. Okay, shortcut. So just by press this one rather than Control Alt Shift F1. So you just press this one. It will also be useful for let's say if you want to use for this Nvidia. But uh, we are not going to use that one because that's not what we want. I just show you one step ahead of using this keyboard to create certain arrangement of the key, not as a normal key or normal keyboard. Okay. So what I'm going to do is basically once you set up this keypad, let's say uh, with the current conditions, you can you can see here else Alt Shift One uh, and then Alt Shift Two. F2 here and Alt Shift F3, F4, F12. This one is Control Alt Shift 1, Control Alt 6, 9, uh, equal. And this one is Control Alt N, down, page down. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a numeric, for example. It's Control Alt numeric 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one, Control Alt left, right, up, down. So basically, I programmed this correctly um, control alt shift a control alt shift r here uh, similar with the alpha numeric the alphabet that i put it here okay so what is the purpose of that i'm putting a control alt shift and control alt just to ensure this one is not conflicting with my ordinary keyboard so if i'm using an ordinary keyboard to type uh, i don't want to send any trigger into the program that I'm going to control right so how you translate this one into the controller because what happened is in spot.next I'm using spot.next for example to receive a control is actually they cannot use uh, what do you call it uh, they cannot use the spot.next cannot use a keyboard as a controller unfortunately i wish they create a keyboard and um, can act as a auto hotkey for example similar with auto hotkey unfortunately they can't okay so how do i uh, kind of work way around it so i'm using a software called fijoy fijoy is a virtual joystick so i'm creating a virtual joystick going to show you the virtual joystick basically uh, this one so this one is the virtual joystick that I'm using to create a, a virtual joystick which is actually I put it 76 uh, button joystick okay and I disable all the access because I don't need it I just need the button some 76 of them similar with the keyboard that I just program and uh, this hat key actually not used so I don't care about it and other things I disable it okay enable joy and that's it so how to install joystick is very simple you go to the um, I think uh, there's a you can just search fee joy uh, in the Google and they will lead you into the latest version of it uh, and you download it and install it okay so they will they will install and you have to restart the computer and they will be able you can start actually you can activate several joystick if you want to but i just use one joystick with 76 but you can actually uh, activate uh, several devices okay so this is only the first devices that i activate 76 keyboard so but this one has to have something in it that send them some trigger to press this 76 okay if you look into your let's say USB controller for example uh, you can find the, the Vjoy here over here right if you look in the properties basically there's 76 button but that will only show 32 because Microsoft uh, con USB controller will limit only up to 30 buttons 32 buttons so it's okay uh, but actually they have 76 button again uh, but this button has to be triggered by something you know uh, unfortunately you can map joystick to joystick or um, I think 
for keyboard to joystick, you have to have something else. Now, it's, I know it's quite complicated. So basically, from the keyboard that I already programmed to press Control Alt Shift, it has to be translated and trigger this button here. Let's say number one, for example. Okay. So I, how do I'm gonna do that? Basically, I'm using another program called Auto Hotkey. I think you probably heard about it. Auto Hotkey is a macro a scripting tools. Uh, it kind of require a programming, but it's very simple. Okay. So uh, I can I can give you this file uh, and put it somewhere so you can also get it. So just created this. Uh, you have to get this. Uh, we call it uh, Auto Hotkey Fijoy Library Master. So you have to search for it in the Google I, and provide the link. Auto Hotkey also a program, so you need to install it first, and it require reboot also. But there's a there's a uh, quite handy uh, manual here. Uh, basically, it's a scripting tool. So there's uh, there's a program that is stay somewhere behind the scene. Okay. So this one is not a program. Basically, it's the it's the guide actually. So what you can do is basically you download this uh, Auto Hotkey Fijoy library masters, and inside it actually there's an example copy, and this one is the most important. Is the Fijoy library here? Okay, uh, this one is the one that we're gonna use in the programming. So from the example, you can then tweak around something. So this one, I already created a kind of a modified uh, version of the example, but I, then I put my own program here over, over there. So let's open it with Notepad++ or Notepad, just a text editors. So if you see here, this is basically the program. So basically it's very, wow, oh, that's very difficult. So. The first few code, I get it from the example, so I don't change it. Uh, basically, I just uh, let it be. So basically, it's including the Fijoy library, uh, auto hot key library. So this is the command to include that library that I show you here. So basically, this is to call this library in. So, so they will use that library as one of the, what do you call it, uh, the, the list of command. So, and then uh, they will define the Fijoy ID, which is I have the Fijoy stick here, Fijoy device number one. So this one is number ID number one, right? If you use number two, then you put two here, three, whatever. So then in it, the Fijoy stick, uh, this is the remarks, by the way, if there is a, a symbol here, it's, it's, it's called remark so it won't be execute this is not a comment just a remark or an, a text remark but this is the real comment which is fijoy init fijoy id so fijoy init number one so they will send uh, into this library uh, to initialize the fijoy interface into the fijoy okay from auto hotkey so the real uh, setting actually is going down so this is just to get the maximum Fijoy number, uh, uh, which is 76, that I already set here, right? 76, uh, they will get it 76. But I won't use this max button anyway. So just, uh, this is actually from the old example. So I let it be, I don't need it actually. Uh, so just go straight into this area. So here, what I try to do is basically converting the key press into a pressing of the controller. So what happened is that if I press Control Shift uh, Alt Shift, sorry, Control Alt Shift. So what happened is that this uh, this symbol, this kind of what do you call it, this pointing up uh, triangle symbol in your keyboard. Basically, it's replacing the the Control key symbol. So just a shortcut to say this is a control and uh, the symbol is actually the symbol for alt and the plus symbol here actually represent the shift so control alt shift f1 and this one the symbol let's say that uh, used by used by auto hot key that indicating that this, this is a key press okay so basically this is a key press of control alt shift f1 
okay once it's pressed execute this command okay or if it's control alt shift f2 execute this command if it's control alt shift f6 execute this command okay so basically that's simple so inside it there is a command called fjoy set button uh, this one is uh, indicating that press up uh, press down so basically one is indicating that the keypad is pressed uh, sorry the the controller key is pressed so i'm setting a a, a button press into fjoy simulating a button press into fjoy uh, into Fijoy ID number one, right? And um, this one is the number of button in the Fijoy which I need to press. So basically, this is the condition of the press, which is one, and this is the Fijoy ID number one, of course, uh, the, into Fijoy ID number one, and into button number one in the Fijoy ID number one. So this is the first button in the Fijoy. So basically, uh, here there's, uh, sorry, not here. Uh, so let's see, USB controller. So yeah, so this one. So uh, basically, hold on, let me move this one into here. Okay, so basically, this command will press this number one button here in the Fijoy controller on, right? Press. And let's say delay, slip is delay 200 millisecond and then unpress. So basically zero is unpress into number one. So again, press and unpress. So it's like a pulse into keyboard number one. So you can change this into 100 millisecond or 200 or 500 millisecond as you wish. Okay, so basically it will press unpress this number one if control alt shift F1 press. So basically from those keyboard that I've just showed you before, this one, which is control alt, uh, control shift alt F1, uh, control alt uh, shift F1, it will send a press into number one here uh, when, I, when I pushed it, for example, okay? Uh, but in this case, I think it's a bit different. So basically, oh sorry, yes, the same. Actually, this one plus F1, it will control this one. So this F1 is actually this one. F2, this one. So if F2 press, it will send number two. F3 press here. Basically, if you can see, uh, F1, F2, F3, F, this is control, alt, shift, F1, control, alt, shift, F6, uh, seven into 12. So basically, if I press this one, it will light up that button. I think, sub uh, let me uh, activate the auto hotkey for example let I think should be let's activate I'll show you how to activate but let's see if it's work or not okay you can see it is pressed here uh, but since it was uh, you see uh, this is light up this is light up number two number three number four number six number number six here number seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so basically this auto hotkey has been activated uh, so it will send the button press in fire fijoy of course fire this uh, by fire the fijoy controller here and they will translate it into the button controller button push from the keyboard that i've already programmed here so I hope you can follow my logic here. So what I'm trying to do is basically is try transforming the keyboard into a controller, uh, to a joystick controller. While this is initially cannot be a joystick controller because spot.next, I'll show you why I, I want that because spot.next or the one who will interface with Microsoft 2020 uh, simulator using SimConnect Sim it's only accepting a controller button, a joystick control button, not accepting any keyboard macros, unfortunately. Uh, so that's why I want to convert this keyboard into a joystick controller so they can be read by spot.next as a press and then send a command into, let's say, Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator. Okay, so that's how I set up 
my keypad here basically i'm creating uh here setting uh and then also mcdu page menu uh this one is if not mistaken oh this one is this one the number here and arrow key this one is here so basically if let's say the control alt left press this one is control alt left control alt up here if it's control alt left press it will send uh, control number 31 i think here still can be read you see here uh, it it's light up okay uh, and control up number 32 but number 33 of course it will it won't be shown here because it only can read up to 32 buttons but the the this the 33 up to 76 button will still register in some other program okay not in the microsoft usb controller reader so i'm programming this into alphanumeric for example this one is the num key here i put a what if I'm putting a if get key state num lock. This is a bit complex because uh, sometimes you press num lock, the num lock in your keyboard, it will not read the, this. Uh, it will gonna reading a different. So if it's num lock, it will read as this one not becoming. Uh, if it's num lock is off, the number one will be numpad n. Okay, without num lock. But if the num lock uh, key press or lock basically the number one here will be numpad numeric pad one so it will be its number one okay so num lock that's why it's a bit complex here for numeric keypad is having a two state depending on the num lock you press like the caps lock caps lock is capital a and a uh, non capital a so uh, small letter a so basically uh there's two state in this uh auto hot key will read differently right so that's why i put the if get key state num lock uh is uh, true then you're gonna use this set if num lock is not pressed uh then uh you're gonna use this part if not if not get key if not num lock press then use this one if num lock is pressed just this one okay and then the alphanumeric menu this is a b c d e until z and then all the key that i want to press until the similar setup with the, this one the, this one is the called clear of a fly space and then uh, division this one is here setting up as division space uh, for the overfly i'm using numeric pad multiplications or asterisks and then the backspace is set as the clear button for me here like the mcdu okay so that's how i create a controller here once you control uh, you get the push button one until 76 button uh, link from this keypad or the keyboard and then convert it into 76 uh, joystick controller uh, then you can program it in the in the spot.next okay for programming in spot.next i will show it in a different video basically because it applies to all or any controller you have including uh, your thrustmasters or your honeycomb or your own diy controllers it doesn't matter they can be programmed though there are some differences on constraint but once you get into a button as a controllers uh, you can then program the controller itself okay so the first issue is, is really converting this keyboard into the press of the joystick controllers okay so that's how i created and this one is very very responsive i'm using um i forgot the ucr there's a software called ucr um, and then you can send the UCR and UCR will send into VJoy. But that software have a very laggy uh, response. So I, if I press a key, suddenly it locks and doesn't want to come out. Uh, like it was stuck here. 
the key. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's just too laggy. Uh, it's not responsive and kind of like almost a second delay. Like it was like useless. But using this auto hotkey with simple program like this, it was really, really uh, responsive. Not, not that there are still small this uh, delay, like a millisecond delay, but to me it doesn't really, because I think I put it 200 here. If you can put 100 delay here, probably it's faster, okay? Faster uh, key press. Um, to me, 200 is still okay, ensuring there's no false key press or something. Yeah, but you can play around and try to change it to 100 millisecond. I think should be sufficient. I think until 50 millisecond to 100 is still doable. Not necessarily 200. Okay, so it, that might help to speed up the key press, but 200 is still okay. Okay, just to ensure you don't do any wrong key press. Now, to activate the auto hotkey, this one is saved as the AHK. So you, you, you can use my template later on. I'm going to show you the link into my Google Drive. So you can download this and try to use it your own or modify it. To activate it, simply locate the file itself, the auto hotkey files, and click right because you already installed auto hotkey. It will come up this here as a kind of uh, option here. So to, to, to start it, just click right and click this open and then it, it will run by its own. If there's an error, they will shut down or cancel the run. You have to fix it, but if it's working, it will run. So basically once it's run, it will stay in your tray icon here. It's, it means it is still there. So you can see F virtual MCDU2 EHK. Uh, this file is, is running in the background. To shut it down, you just click right and exit. So that will stop the auto hotkey and the key will. As you can see here, if I press this one, it will trigger the NVIDIA shield. Uh, oh, see here, <laughs> it come up with this shortcut. Screenshot has been saved to gallery. But watch out if I uh, activate this one. So if I activate auto hotkey file, uh, if I press this button, it will not show into the basically into the uh, the Nvidia, right? So it, the Nvidia is not coming out. So actually, it will send here into the joystick controller instead. So the auto hotkey captured the the key press and convert it into VJoy before it's sent to other functions. So basically, they they are in the first layer of program or the uh, background software to capture the key first and then do whatever you want and modify it. I mean, auto hotkey is very powerful macro scripting. You can do uh, open file like you browsers or whatever you want. You can do a script. I don't want to go into deep programming for auto hotkey because it takes a lot of uh, learning. I, I'm not an expert. I, it just worked for me for these purposes to capture the keyboard uh, key press and convert it into VJoy press, uh, virtual joystick press number one to until 76. That's all I want for this keyboard. That's it. Okay. So hopefully that's uh, useful. And I'll, I'll give my files uh, and the links to all these uh, resources. Uh, in my video down below in the descriptions so you can download or learn yourself and try to create your own uh, kind of controller uh, from this um, and then program it in others like spot.next or fcu ipc7 or whatever so fcu ipc7 have their own keyboard capture so you don't use you don't need to use my way. You can use F FSU IPC7 directly on for capturing keyboard key press. Unfortunately, I don't use F FSU IPC7 anymore. I used the paid version before. I'm okay, but the interface is not inter as interactive as spat, uh, spat.next. So here you can see the spat.next. I have another video. So I have my control set up here and they can detect which aircraft that I'm in 
and it will set up the setting uh, accordingly. So this one is the 76 keypad that I'm using. So for example, uh, you can see it, it's triggering uh, all the key that I want to trigger. Uh, for this one, I think uh, you have to put numeric letters. I think you have to do it twice. Uh, this one is a bit finicky, so you kind of have to switch on, switch off again the auto head key, and it will work. But if not, then kind of like not reading it. But the other function is okay, except for the numeric pad, and that's why I'm using a bit more uh, kind of like uh, very specific. So let's say if I do this and let's start again. Once they work, it works, okay? Uh, hey, this... Uh, I think I changed something probably <laughs> in the program just now. But basically, it's all 76 is clear. This one is something here. You see? 76 all working well in this program. So you can see it's... Uh, and I have my panel and I have my Thrustmasters here program also. For the well-known brand, they have their own program. But for your own uh, kind of uh, keyboard uh, controllers, it's just showing this one. Okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, Spot next later on because uh, I think it has the its own uh, way of uh, programming. Okay, it's quite complex, but once you understand, it's very simple actually. Okay, that's it. So hopefully this. Useful. I know it's a long video. Uh, I always talk too much, and hopefully it's useful, and you can get some idea about on how to convert the keyboard into a controller if you need to. Uh, somehow you don't need to, but in some cases I think it's very important, and you are able to convert the key uh, keyboard press uh, combination of keyboard press into controller press. Okay. See you around.